Hello, welcome back again. Now what I want to do today is purely provide some information on material engineering. Now one of the my reasons for doing this is because we as electricians use carbonized conduit. We use black enamel conduit even though that may now have been phased out. We use sunken and so forth. And I feel that it's relevant that we know how these items are produced, even though we are not going to look at that production specifically, just to give an overall view as to how steel products are made. Okay? Now, I've taken some an extract here from free study document, okay? And this is freely available on the internet. Okay, but for me, I felt that it was important that we knew what we were looking at and how this would apply to us as electricians or electrical engineers, which you may go on to be. Okay. Now, I hold an agency in electronics, well, agency in D. As I came to understand that now, in my time, it was 20 units to do an HNC HND at the time. Now, now I've been told recently that it's only eight units for the HNC and um, eight units for the HND. But you guys seem to have it quite easily. So, but nonetheless, let's continue. Now, what I want to try and do here, if I can, is to make this larger so it can be seen, okay? So we get a better picture and a more predominant. Okay, and then. I mean, let me increase the fonts. Okay, now it won't let me increase the fonts. Sorry about that. But what I will try and do is to bring it in line. But remember that you can pause the video so you can see what's happening, okay? Now here we have some processing being done and again I will leave you to read this for yourselves. So be with me, I want to make sure that the document is in focus, okay, overall and it can be seen. Now here you have hot rolling and it's simply a process of producing steel products. Okay. Now again remember you can pause the video and extract information from it if you wish. Okay. Now this is purely for additional information, so please bear that in mind, be aware of that. Okay. To some of you it may not be relevant, but to some of you who may go into work in industry, it may then become quite relevant. Okay. Now again here, I'm not talking a lot because a lot of this is self-explanatory and you will need to read text by pausing the video 
and reading the text for yourself. Okay, it provides you with a lot of knowledge. Now I know that the BTEC course does a lot of this reference work a lot here as well in this area. Okay. And it's showing you a molding process. Okay. So again, pause the video, read the text, make it your own where appropriate. Okay. Now, please bear in mind that in some cases you may need to zoom in on a certain area. Feel free to do so. But remember that as you zoom in, you can extract that information and work across the screen. I realize that some of you have um, iPads or m mobile phones that will pick this up, but doesn't actually give it to you as a full screen. You need to be able to access it as, as a full screen to get the relevant information from it, okay? So here we have a uh, com composite, particle com composite, etc. Now, you do some additional research on these items for yourselves as well, okay? Because I'm not being able to expand this any further on the screen. It will simply go out of focus. So, pause it, look at it, read it, do some additional research, get some background or additional information. Here you have laminates, okay? And they are various types of laminates. Again, if it takes your interest, do additional research. Make sure you can find the work that you want to be related to. Now, I've taken this extraction from a free study, which is freely available, okay? And it seems to me at this point that it was a useful extraction at the time. Okay, that will do us for now. Okay, I hope you find this information useful, and please do do some additional research if it has taken your interest, and look at what is available. Engineering is quite a, a large field, but it is a very interesting field to be in. It, it will serve you for life once you have acquired the relevant skills and the appropriate qualifications. Okay, thank you for your time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.